Can I root cuttings of plants with flowers already blooming on them? I've been getting this question a lot lately and I thought I would just take a little bit of time to explain my response to it. So lately people have been asking me if they can take a plant that's already got flowers or blooms coming on on top of that plant. Can I take a cutting of that same stem with a bloom on it and actually get it to root? And the answer is yes, you absolutely can. There's nothing different and you would use the process exactly the same. So my wife and I recently went to a nursery and we picked up all these neat little plants right here. We've got some coleus in here. We've got, oh, this is an absolutely gorgeous coleus. We've got some uh, cilantro. We've got some dill for our pickles. We've got a little salvia plant. Now this one is gonna attract a ton of hummingbirds. I've bought these in the past. Unfortunately, they don't come back year after year in our area, but it's an absolutely beautiful plant. And this one's gonna have purple flowers on it. And then we've got some new variety of strawberries that we're really excited about. And I can talk about those in a minute, but the question is, can we propagate plants when they've already got flowers on them? I want to show you something real quick in here. We bought some new petunias and I plan to do some videos on these. I'm going to pull them out here for you right now and show them to you. Let's get this coleus out there. Now we can see a little better. So we'll pull the petunias out here and show you exactly what I got. And then you guys can tell me if you think we did the right thing. I'm excited about this. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Neat little projects that will take us on into next winter, but I wanted to do an American flag theme. So we've got red, white, and blue. And yes, they are wave petunias. Now, those are copyrighted, they're patented, so you cannot propagate these and sell them to other people. This is just gonna be for my own personal use on my property, but I had to have these colors because I love the deep red that I had a couple of years ago and I wanted to get it again. And then I thought while I'm there, I just started seeing these colors pop up. You know, I gotta have the red, white, and blue. Now, the question was, can I propagate these things with blooms on them? If you'll look real close, we do have flower buds right there. We've got flower buds all over the tops of these. Now they haven't opened yet, but either way, all you have to do is snip it back right here, which I intend to do, and then just snip the bloom off because you want the energy to go back down and form roots. You don't want it to go up and form a bloom. So that's not a problem at all. Now this will work with any plant that you want to take cuttings of that will root from softwood cuttings. If you had fuchsias, then go ahead and just cut the bloom off and they'll root just as well. Any plant that will root is a softwood cutting will root just fine with a flower on top. You just want to snip that flower off first. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about rhododendrons lately too, and they want to start propagating them because they see these videos I'm doing where I've got rhododendrons just blooming like crazy and they look absolutely beautiful. But the other thing you need to take into consideration with propagating plants is the type of plant that you're propagating and the, the actual propagation method that they require. So rhododendrons are taken later in the season. You would not want to take them right now because this growth right here is from last season. It's old, firm, woody growth. Now, you want it to be more firm, but you want it more semi-firm. This is just older than you want it to be. It's not gonna root as well. And this new growth right here, which this will actually be a bloom, this will be current season's growth. But this new growth right here is just way too young and supple and that'll never root. So you've actually gotta wait until that comes up hardens off more and starts becoming semi-firm later on in the summer. So I like to take these types of cuttings, rhododendron cuttings, and most evergreen cuttings uh, in the late summer, sometimes in the early fall, but typically the late summer, like August. So you couldn't just take a cutting of this right now and snip a flower off because this is coming on old wood right here from last season, not current season's growth. Now it's springtime and a lot of people are asking me, how early can I start rooting cuttings? So it really is gonna depend on the plant and the condition of the wood that you're taking the cuttings as. So everybody lives in a different climate, a different part of the country or even the world and different plants are gonna come in at different times. And so I live in the Pacific Northwest zone 8B where right now petunias are just thriving. So I could be taking cuttings of them because they're already four, five, six inches tall. 
snip the flower bud off. You can sometimes take multiple cuttings off of one stem, but some plants, like I've got some burning bush over here, they're barely just getting started, so they're not ready yet. I usually wait until June in my area. Now, if you're in like Southern California, they're probably two months ahead of us. Their spring essentially, compared to our spring, essentially starts in January or February. So you could take cuttings, these softwood cuttings, much earlier. It's really going to depend on the condition of the wood. And what I mean by that is you want to wait until that stem gets up tall enough to where it's going to be firmed up enough and not wilt over when you cut it from the parent plant. If it's just an inch tall or two inches tall and it's so young and supple that as soon as you cut it, it just starts wilting over. It's just too early. You want to wait until that wood gets up several inches tall, three, four, six inches tall, and that bottom portion of it is just starting to firm up enough that if you cut it from the plant, it's going to be able to stand up on its own for at least 15 minutes. Like I said, in my area, that's going to be around June, sometimes the middle of June. It just depends on how the spring goes. So there it is. I hope that helps you guys out. Yes, you can take cuttings from plants that have flowers on top. You just want to snip the flower off and it's going to root just the same because the science is still the same. You're working with undifferentiated nodes at the bud sites, regardless of whether it did have a flower on top or it didn't. And the other consideration, some people like to snip the very top off, whether it's a flower or a terminal bud, either way, because it'll just help send hormones down to that bud and start rooting a little more quickly because now the energy is not going up to new growth, whether it's a flower or a bud. The other thing to think about is it's early spring right now, so you guys have plenty of time to experiment. So take some cuttings really early on. Take some cuttings later and just play around with it and see what you can do. If you had a tote with, say, I don't know, 20 or 24 slots in it, you could get one plant Take a bunch of cuttings when they're an inch tall, come back, take a bunch of cuttings when they're two inches tall, three inches tall, four inches tall, and just keep lining out that little cutting tray and see what roots better. That's what this is all about, experimenting and having fun. So don't let what I tell you hold you back in any way. The sky's the limit when it comes to working with plants. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see more fantastic gardening videos. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.